Hey guys, I'm Luke. And I'm Karen. And uh, we're Make Daily. So today, um, because we're just setting up, we need things like mounts for cameras and things like that. And I've had these uh, GoPros for a long time. But I've discovered I didn't really have a great way of hanging them up and putting them and, and doing things for time lapses and all those exciting things that are quite fun to film. So I thought I'll make a GoPro mount. Um, so I started by um, obviously just taking a standard GoPro uh, holster and basically just modeling it up in SolidWorks, which I'll go through now. Um, and basically it was just taking the measurements and copying it and duplicating it. I'll go more into 3D design later, uh, but you can watch that now. Uh, and then I threw it on the 3D printer, printed it. I did have some extrusion problems with the first one. It's not like the best surface finish for a part like this. Doesn't really matter, but I still wanted to improve it. So I went through some rafts of various fixes on my printers. If you if you want a video on how to um, improve your surface and your 3D prints, then maybe put a comment below and we'll make a video later. So I reprinted um, the piece like so, and now we're gonna put it together. So I've designed this around uh, these magnets we use a lot. These are neodymium magnets. These are 10 millimeters. Um, and they are really, really strong. So just be careful not to get your fingers in the way of the magnets because they are dangerous, dangerous. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, no, Will Robinson. So I designed this piece to be um, pretty much exactly 10 millimeters um, big. I think maybe a little bit bigger. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually force them in with a clamp. So because the plastic will just move out of the way, we'll sort of hold the magnets in place. So at least that's the idea. Okay, so I'll give you that. Thank you. Give that. Thank you. Now it's really hard to separate all of the magnets, so <laughs> I'm gonna just pull one out. Doesn't really matter how the first one goes in. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pop it on that clamp. And you can use this for inserting magnets on, on any project that you decide to do. And then I've got um in fact let's do the front plate first. So there's the front plate. And Will that fit? This is going to go horribly wrong. Oh, no, I'm going to need two magnets because of the height. Ah, it nips. I'm going to get to see if you try and separate four magnets. You don't have the knife now. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on there like that. So it's sitting on the end of my clamp. We'll get a piece and I'll sort of line it up. And all I'm going to do is just close the clamp to squish that magnet in. He says, <laughs> it's not really A few moments later. He says the first one in, like that, which is great, so that's not coming out in a rush. And we'll do the same with the other one. It's in okay. Yeah, and I think that's good. We've got this test case metal. Uh, yeah, so that, that clamps together. Lovely. So we've got one here that I've already taken the support off. Oh, we've got a GoPro here. So I'll put these files up on Thingiverse and link them below. So you guys can download and print if you want. So then this just clips into the camera like that. You can obviously adjust it. And the clamp goes on the back. So if it's going through like a thin sheet of plexi or perspex or something, then it will clamp nicely. Uh, obviously if you've got, you can also use these clamps so if we've got a surface that we want to magnet to and we don't have any good fittings, we can just sort of put it on there like that and just magnet it to it. Then we can adjust it however we want, change the angle, and then we're good. But that's pretty much it. So that's how we've made magnet mounts. Uh, and we're going to be doing some of our time lapses. In fact, the time lapse that you, the second time lapse you'll see um, in the video today was using this mount. So yeah. Download it on Thingiverse. If you enjoyed the video, hit the little thumbs up. Hit the little thumbs up. Hit the little thumbs up. If you didn't, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Try next time. Um, and yeah, please subscribe if you want to join our adventures. Next time we'll be doing uh, some more props and some bits and pieces. So stay tuned. See you next time, guys.